Today is the day, it's day one that we're going to get started with this um, eating like Lori Harvey, eating and working out like Lori Harvey for the next 21 days, but then it's also day one of my 30 hard. And you know what? I think I want to, I think I want to do the 75, but I'm going to have a break in that time frame. So then I'd have to start over. So it'll have to be after I come back from my trip that I do the 75 but um y'all just saw the scale and it's up by two pounds but I have to admit I kind of fell off on my diet a little bit because I was saying to myself oh well I'm gonna be doing this um extensive training and stuff in the next few days so I kind of started picking out on sour strips and I had some pizza and you know just kind of like my last hurrah but I've been last hurrahing for the last few days <laughs> so it's time to stop all that nonsense but I'm um, sitting here I'm gonna have my coffee and then I'm gonna get dressed and then we're gonna go hit the gym and then when we come back we'll prep our first meal um, don't want to try and prep everything I don't know no, we'll just do breakfast, but we'll take out the stuff that we're going to have for lunch. Because I think it's going to be like chicken breast or something like that. Alright y'all, so here we go. Day one of everything. Alright y'all, we're about to go and hit this first workout of our fitness challenge. And this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> it really does make me look like I'm middle aged, right? This fanny pack. But the reason why I wear this is today is cardio day. And when I'm doing cardio, I like to track my steps. So we're going to put the phone up in here. Um, I'm thinking about getting an Apple Watch, but I don't know if I want to do that um, because my phone has an app on it. But yeah, this is the get up. I love this because it has like a little hood in the back. It's so cute. All right. So let's go get this workout. All right, y'all. We made it to our destination. I'm the only one in here. I don't know how long that's going to be. Um, but we're going to get on the elliptical first and then we're going to do the treadmill. So we're going to do 30 minutes on both machines. You see the smile? I just completed both of my workouts and I feel good. I don't feel tired, I feel invigorated. So this was a really good session. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna do weight training, cardio, and I may do abs, we'll see. Um, but later tonight, so that was an hour, I gotta get in 30 more minutes. So I'll do a 30 minute Pilates session because we know um, Miss Harvey, that's what she did. She did Pilates every day. So we're gonna get to it. Um, so I need to go and get freshened up. I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna try on a swimsuit because that's how I'm gonna track my progress for better or worse. So for better or worse y'all, if half naked bodies offend you, please click off right now because you're gonna get a little bit of that. Um, and what I'll do is I'll take photos um, in the same swimsuit, just so I can track my progress. All right, let's go. Day one. All right, friends, here we are. Y'all are a little crooked, but hopefully that won't distract you from what I'm wanting to share. Um, all right, so, I wanted to give you some measurements and stuff. So I already shared with you when I got on the scale this morning, it said I was 
I'm not freaking out about it. That's just, it's just what it is, right? Um, so currently, um, so I measured my wrist and my wrist is six inches around. So I have a very small wrist. I can touch my pinky and my thumb together. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty small. Um, and then my waist is 30 inches. Um, my chest is 38 inches and my hips are 41 inches. And I would like to have somebody measure me to be honest with you because I did all the measurements myself. So I think that um, probably until April when Kasia comes back, I'll be measuring myself. But that's where I'm at right now. Um, I am, it depends, right? So height wise, I'm either five, six and three quarters or I'm five, seven. I like to say I'm five, seven. Um, and so I just think that for my height, a really good goal weight for me and where I feel the best is at 135. And I know there are some people that will probably say 135 would be too small for you. You might look sick. And my thing is this, uh, you know, it's kind of disheartening when people say stuff like that because it's like, you know how you feel when you're that size. I like how I look. The only thing that kind of gets me down is that the clothes that I wear don't really fit anymore when I get down to that size. And it kind of messes with my head a little bit because I'm like, oh, wow, but I really like that shirt or I really like those jeans or that dress or whatever. Um, but I'm gonna have to get over that. And so I would say um, the stretch goal is 135. But if I land somewhere around 140, I'm cool with that too. Because like I said, I'm not just trying to lose weight. I also want to put on muscle. So that's why I'm doing the weight training. Um, so let's see, I gave you my height. So my dress size, it just depends. But on an average, I'm a size 10 in dresses. Sometimes I'm an eight, sometimes I'm a 12, depending on the designer and you know how they go about determining what their their sizes are so I think that what I'm shooting for is realistic I don't want to put a time on it really because the approach that I'm taking is I mean other than the fact that I'm doing this Lori Harvey challenge for 21 days um what was I saying <laughs> I love my train of thought um I'm gonna have to replay this video to see what else all right, <laughs> I'm gonna pick up where I left off. But, um, so what I'm shooting for is also creating a lifestyle, right? So, um, and I think I got on a really good eating regimen and meal plan prior to starting these challenges. So I'm gonna just kind of observe how my body reacts because I am gonna be putting my my um, self in a calorie deficit for the next 21 days. But I think that the foods I was eating before, I could eat that, I was pretty much eating the same thing every day. And I like that because I didn't have decision fatigue trying to figure out what I wanted to cook or whatever. Um, and then as far as my workout is concerned, I've pretty much been working out an hour and a half, four to five days a week is what I've been doing because I've been wanting to condition myself and I knew that I wanted to do these two challenges. Well, the one challenge, the Lori Harvey challenge. Um, so I think I can maintain a five to six day um, workout regimen, an hour and a half every day. And I feel good when I do that. And I think that if I ever get to a point to where I don't think I can do as much, then I'll just kind of scale it back. But yeah, what I'm wanting to do for this month is figure out a workout regimen that really works for me, figure out a meal plan that really works for me, and then be able to carry that forward throughout the rest of the year. So, and, and on, right? You know, so I'm feeling really good about it. And like I said, I think it's realistic. I don't think I'm, you know, asking too much of myself, but we'll see. We'll see, I'll track my progress. Even if it's just a real quick check-in every day, you're not gonna get all the filming that you got today. Um, 
maybe on Sundays you will though since I'll be doing my measurements I'll be weighing in you know I'll be kicking off another week then you'll probably get like a full a little bit more footage showcasing what I'm doing so I think what I'm gonna do now is get in the kitchen and make myself some breakfast and then um, after that I don't know what I'm gonna do it's Sunday y'all so I have the whole day oh I gotta do some work stuff I don't know if I'm gonna do it right now though, so we'll see. All right, I'll check in when I'm in the kitchen. I'll take y'all in the kitchen with me. So what I'm gonna do first is, hold on, let me turn down the TV. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up this 40 ounce water canister. And what I try to do is drink two of these because my goal is to drink half my body weight in ounces of water. So I'm at 158.6, I'm gonna round that up to 160. So two of these is 80 ounces. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up. All right, I'm almost out of water, so I'm gonna have to head out and grab some more. But I think this will this will be okay. I normally drink, and what I use is this glass here. And I end up probably drinking about four of these. I think these are 10 ounce glasses. Um, yeah, so I, I drank four of those and then I know that I need to drink four more. So I always have a glass like first thing in the morning and then before I head off to bed. So that knocks out two. And so I just have to make sure that I drink six more throughout the day. All right, so next I'm going to go ahead and get all my goodies to make my breakfast and I'll show you what I'm having. All right, so I thought about it. I was like, why don't I show y'all what I'm making like while I'm making it? So what I'm going to do is I have my pan over here and I'm going to grab like maybe half of what's left of spinach. And I'm going to put that in the pan. All right, then I'm gonna take one cheese stick and I'm gonna cut it up. Not right now, I want the um, spinach to cook down a little more, but um, you know, actually what I'm gonna do is wait to add the cheese. So I'm gonna have one cup of egg whites. So I have these egg beaters here. I normally use the, um, whatever the Walmart brand is, but they were out, I guess with this, the eggs being so high, people are buying more egg whites now, I guess. So, get my, and we're gonna get a fair amount of protein. So, one cup is the equivalent of four whole eggs. And I don't know how many grams, I have it in my phone, how many grams of protein that is. Um, four eggs, four whole eggs, so it's six grams of protein per egg, so that's 24 grams. So I'm imagining it should be about the same. So one cup of egg whites is the equivalent of 24 grams of protein. All right, and since I told you that about the eggs, we should look at the cheese. So one stick is seven grams. So that's what, 31 grams of protein already. And then there is protein in spinach, in case you didn't know, I'm sure a lot of you do. Um, I mean, spinach just cooks down so much. It's very deceptive when you're pulling it out raw and then when you start cooking it down, it just like cooks down to almost nothing. But I like adding veggies to my omelet. All right, I'm gonna spray the pan a little more. And then I'm also gonna add, I should probably have my little microphone. Let me get it. All right, so I hope y'all can hear me better now. Um, so I'm gonna pour in my eggs or my egg whites. And what I do is I kind of like pour it on the opposite side of where I have my veggies and then I'll just move it around the pan like that. Okay, let me rinse out this because I'm gonna use it again.
So normally when I have egg whites, I like to add an egg or two. So normally I'll do like half a cup of egg whites and two eggs because the texture of egg whites is kind of hard for me. <laughs> I'm a texture girl and it just seems like it's really slippery. So, um, but for the purpose of what I'm trying to do, I'm gonna forego the whole eggs. I should bring it up. So I'm gonna forego the whole eggs and just use the protein. Uh, where's my, where's my onions at? Chopped onion, here we go, okay. All right, so we're gonna throw some chopped onion. Oh my gosh. Throw some chopped onion in there. And I'm not gonna add any salt because the mozzarella cheese to me has pretty good amount of salt. Oh gosh. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Look at that. Oh, it's coming together so nice. Okay. So let me put a lid. Let's see, am I recording? Yeah. Put a lid on that. Perfect. Turn that off. Move that over here. And so next, I am. All right, so next, I'm gonna measure out some blueberries because I'm gonna have a couple blueberries on the side. All right, so I'm using this cup again. And I picked up this big old container of blueberries. I don't remember how much it was, but I was just like, dang, that's a lot. Do I need to rinse these? I should probably rinse them. Uh, excuse my junk drawer, y'all. I think everybody has a junk drawer in their kitchen. There you go. Ooh, look at these blueberries. They are a nice size. And they look pretty clean. But I'm gonna go ahead and rinse them anyway. Just to be on the safe side. Yeah, they are really clean. I better quit while I'm ahead. I'm kind of like going over the rim. For some reason, I thought I had written down that I was gonna have this with yogurt, but I'm having the cheese instead. So no yogurt today. All right. All right, y'all. I went back and looked at my notes. Sure enough, a cup of yogurt, plain yogurt. So y'all know I love myself some um, the yogurt that has a pineapple on the bottom or the yogurt that has a coconut. This is plain yogurt. We have our blueberries. So I think it's gonna be good. And, but I'm worried that I'm gonna get burnt out on the blandness of it all, but whatever. Um, I think probably what I'll do is sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top to give it a little extra flavor. Whoa. And then our omelet is done. Oh, this plate might be too small. Might have to cut it in half and layer it. That's fine. All right. There we go. We just layered it. It fit. And that's the other thing too. I want to start using smaller plates when I make my meals, except for maybe when I make a salad because I love a really big salad. So that'll be the exception. So I'm gonna pour myself some water. All right, that's a nice tall glass. And then sprinkle some cinnamon on top of that. Oh, 
That was more cinnamon than I wanted, but that's okay. All right, y'all, so this is breakfast. We have our egg white omelet with mozzarella cheese and spinach and onions. And then we have our yogurt and blueberries. And I need to add up how, how much protein this is. I'm gonna enter it into my food tracker though. And then have a nice, I think this is like 10 ounces of water. So we are good to go. All right, I'm gonna go and eat this and then I'll check back in with you all later. All right, y'all, so I just finished having my breakfast and one of the things that I'm kind of worried about on this um, calorie restriction diet or meal plan is I'm worried that I'm gonna be really, really hungry. The interesting thing about it is I couldn't even finish my breakfast. I ate the omelet, right? Because I love omelets. But that plain yogurt was a hard swallow. I have to be honest with you, it was, it was not easy. Hold on, let me put on my microphone, hold on. All right, what was I saying? Yeah, so that yogurt, plain yogurt was a hard swallow. The texture of it was just a little too, I mean, it's like really creamy. I don't notice that though when I'm, and I had it with the fresh blueberries, but I think the kind of fruit that I get in the yogurts that I eat is more kind of like a jelly or whatever. So it mixes really well with the yogurt. So it's like, it's flavoring the yogurt. Whereas when I had these, the fresh fruit with the yogurt, it's not like combining in with the yogurt. So I'm like really tasting the yogurt, but it wasn't terrible. It's just, I couldn't finish it. And I think that's kind of a good thing because if I do get hungry, I'm gonna finish it before I have my lunch. And this is a good way, I think, to get out of the habit of eating for entertainment. Cause y'all, I'm telling you, I have a good ass time with some food. If I'm bored, I'll eat. If I, you know, a lot of times I just eat out of boredom. I'm not even hungry. So this is gonna be a really good learning for me. Um, so yeah, I took out my stuff that I'm gonna have for lunch here. Um, I think I'll show you what I'm, what I'm having or I'll tell you what I'm having, but I'm not gonna film the prep, I don't think. I don't know if y'all are interested in seeing that. If you are, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'm just gonna cook it up and then maybe I'll show y'all the plate or whatever. Maybe, I don't know. Um, so I think now I'm gonna read some more of this Sacred Pampering Principles book. It's almost the end of the month. Today is the 26th of February. And my goal was to be done with the book by the end of this month, but y'all, it's not happening. Um, I just, I don't know. I wasn't as diligent about reading as I thought I was going to be, but that's okay. Um, I do want to finish it though. So I'll continue reading it through the rest of the year. Um, but I'm excited to show you the book that I'm going to be reading um, that's centered around like fitness and health and nutrition and stuff. Give me just a second. All right, so there's actually two books. Um, one is called Food, Fitness and Faith for Women, A 21 Day Journey to a New You. So this one here. And I like it because it has both biblical and um, secular, I guess, or non-biblical principles that you can refer to. And it's nice because it's kind of like a, a sh it's a short read. And I figure I could read this like even before I go and do my workouts, I can read this for motivation. And then the other book, and I was such a huge fan of this woman back in the day when I was really into weight training and stuff. I don't know if she's still around, um, but Donna Richardson Joyner, and it actually has a foreword by T.D. Jakes. And the name of the book is Witness to Fitness, Pumped Up, no, yeah, Pumped Up, Powered Up, All Things Are Possible. And it says, A New You in 28 Days. So this is Donna Richards, Richardson herself. And I mean, she was such a force back in the day. So I'm going to have to look her up to see what she's been getting up to. But a lot of these books I've had for years, y'all. I just recently ordered this one book from um, Donna, Donna Richardson Joyner. She used to be married to Tom Joyner. I think they since divorced. I think they've been divorced for a while. But I think she helped get him in shape. 
because I think he was out of shape. I don't know if it was through her um, coaching him or if he got sick with diabetes or something and then she started coaching him. I don't know, but she has been at it in the fitness game for a while. Again, I don't know if she's still doing that, but I just thought she was such a huge inspiration for me back in the day. So yeah, I'm excited to start going through this book and it looks, it looks like it's kind of along the same lines of the food, fitness, and faith. Um, yeah, because she talks about the 28 days to your trend. Yeah, so this is going to be a really good read. I can't wait. Cannot wait. And I think she has some workout videos and stuff too. But for now, I'm going to get back to Sacred Pampering Principles, read that, and then let me see. I've got some things that I'm supposed to be doing today for y'all. Um, mm. oh okay yeah so yeah I'll be doing that and yeah but I'm, I'm gonna do that tomorrow I'm not gonna do that today I think today what I want to do is get caught up on my reading Make sure that I'm staying on track with my um, my fitness and exercise because I know the first week for me is like the training grounds. And once I get through the first week, it's pretty much repetitive. So I won't have to think about it as much. But y'all, can you believe it? We're almost at the end of February. By the time you see this, we might be at the end of March. <laughs> so, but I just can't believe it. This year's just moving right along. And I do feel like I'm maximizing my time whether even if it's just like sitting down and just like not thinking or doing anything and giving myself permission to do that has been amazing so all right let me get to this reading here and i will check in with y'all later all right so i need to check in um oh there's kashi poo all right i'll check in after i talk to her all right, hey y'all. So we are back in the kitchen. It's 426 and I'm about to make dinner. I was about to tell y'all something, but then Kashi Poo called. So, you know, I had to take that call. Um, so I wrote down a meal plan that I plan to follow during this whole, you know, 21, especially for the 21 days. And it seemed like it was pretty solid because all I did was Google like, 1200 calorie I think I put in low carb meal plan and y'all <laughs> I'm also tracking what I eat using um, my fitness pal and when I started plugging in all the stuff I was supposed to have today the calorie count came out to like 1865 and I was like, okay, so I don't know what they're using, meaning the people who created the um, meal plan, I don't know what they're using to determine what the uh, calorie count is and fat and all that stuff, you know? So I'm glad I did that because I plugged it in for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then you're supposed to get a dessert. And um, I have to like cut some of that stuff out. So what I did is I decided to forego lunch because I didn't even finish all of my breakfast. And I was like, well, if I get hungry, I'll go back and finish the breakfast. And so what I had instead though, was a protein shake. And I didn't finish the protein shake either because I mean, it was a lot. It was a whole lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this dinner. It's, it's kind of early, but I don't like eating super late. So this works out for me. Um, but yeah, if I get hungry later on, because I'm gonna, I'll probably close my eating window at like seven o'clock. But I started cutting some stuff out. Instead of having a whole cup of yogurt, I'm gonna have half a cup of that. And then what I'll do is, uh, because all the desserts are protein shakes. So I'll have the protein shake. Oops. I'll have the protein shake in between breakfast and dinner and that way it keeps my calorie count down and I mean that's even taken into consideration that I'm going to be working out of course 
and burning calories so that would kind of give me like excess calories but that 18 something there's no way that the working out that I would do would kind of balance that out so I had to cut that back so right now what I'm making is how do I do this there we go all right so I'm making um, I got a hamburger patty so it's like four ounces and I have some zucchini and mushroom and then I'm gonna put some seasoning on it. I'm gonna put some garlic powder and some, um, I've been trying to use up, where is it at? I've been trying to use this up. Honestly, I don't know how long I've had it, but it still tastes pretty good. So throw some onion on there. I did buy some fresh onion, but I'm trying to use this stuff up. Pepper on it. Pepper, pepper, pepper. I love pepper. And then I want to use some soy a little bit of ginger on here. And then there was one more thing. I don't remember. This is good though. So this should give it some nice flavor. And it's just about done. Y'all, I was supposed to have logged on and started working, and I just did not have the motivation. So what I'll do is I'll eat this, and then I'll work a little bit, and then I have to do Pilates. So, flip that, let that cook a little more. I'm gonna turn down the volume. My volume for my thing. Turn down the heat. Okay. Turn down the heat a little bit. Turn this up. All right, so I'll let this cook in for like, I'll let this finish cooking for about five minutes. That should be enough time. And then I'll go ahead and eat. Do a little bit of tidy up, then I'll log on to work. So I should be eating, I should be done eating like by five o'clock. It's 4.32 right now, so I should be done eating around five or a little shortly after, a little bit shortly after that. And then I'll work from six to eight, and then I'll do my Pilates workout at 8, 8.30. So that is the plan, y'all. That is the plan. So I'll check in when I get ready to do this Pilates workout. All right, so this is what we ended up with. I decided to put it on a bed of lettuce. I haven't tried it yet. I'm hoping it's not too salty because after I started thinking about it, I was like, I was like, I think I may have been a little heavy on the soy sauce. So let me cut into this. And a little more and more, I'm trying to get away from using salt. And just focus on using herbs and spices to flavor my food. So, got it nice and choppy. Let's try the burger. And I only put soy sauce on one side of the burger. It's just right. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my food. Next time you see me, either I'll be signing in for work or I'll have on my workout clothes to do Pilates.
Y'all have to try this, it slaps. It's so good, it's so flavorful, it's delicious. Hey friends, quick check in. So I'm having a very interesting turn of events. I can't log into the corporate network. So I feel like it's a sign that I need to hold off until tomorrow to get this stuff done. I'm just so frustrated. All right, we're gonna wait till tomorrow. So I'm gonna work on some other videos, getting those edited and then um, when eight o'clock rolls around, we'll jump into some Pilates, some Pilates. All right, I'll see y'all then.